last time I was here was 2010. On that trip, I had never heard of chilaquiles, and I discovered them, and it's one of my favorite breakfasts. So we're here at Chilaquiles, which is a chilaquiles restaurant. It's, I've had like one bite, and I'm so happy. And I don't know the pizza. You haven't had a lot of chilaquiles. Very, very good. That's it. leftover tortilla chips covered in salsa. This place you get to pick the type of meat you want and the type of salsa. They have like six different kinds. I got verde with chorizo. Um, it's got some cream on top, some cheese, some onions, a side of beans. It's the perfect breakfast. I'm probably gonna need a nap, but it's delicious. Did you enjoy that? Ow! I enjoyed that slap in the face. I enjoyed every bite. Chilaquiles. We're at Fonda Margarita. Um, this is a breakfast place that uh, I came to in 2010 because Anthony Bourdain had been here. Um, so my parents, I think we came on New Year's Day and it was incredible. They're known for their um, like log of free fried beans mixed with eggs. Absolutely delicious. They've got some stewed things. I'm not sure I ordered correctly. I got a little bit overwhelmed and it's just the three of us, but Hayes probably won't eat that much. So we got some huevos rancheros which are on the way and the classic beans. And we're sitting at a very communal table um, with a mariachi band inches away from me. <laughs> it's as special as I remember it, and the food is delicious too. It's your first time here, what do you think? Yeah, this is 10 years in the making for me. I've been hearing about this place from Stephanie. Um, 12. 12 years? Is it 12 years? Yeah. Oh wow, okay. Well, we just got the beans and the eggs arrived, and they are incredible. So delicious. I mean, I've not had beans mixed with eggs before and with the fresh corn tortillas. Beautiful. Yeah, that's beautiful. Your music's Where beautiful. Where are you from? Uh, the States. Tennessee. 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 So, the guy next to us reached into his wallet and pulled out this and gave it to me. Um, leave a comment below what that means, because I don't really know what it means. And it's obviously in Spanish as well. But. Is that common? You're from Tennessee, it's really common. <laughs> you know it's good when Pete was like, are they open on Saturdays? We only have a few days left in Mexico City and I think we were already plotting our return. And as an extra bonus, especially for Hayes, there is a playground just around the corner from the restaurant. We are Martina Fondafina. Is that correct? Did I get that? You got oh, it. Wow. First I'm, try. I'm impressed with myself. Um, we're here having breakfast and we're joined with our great friend Rachel Schultzen from Chattanooga. Hello. Um, okay, I got the. This one's called the Kona. Um, it's. Cano. <laughs> See, I was on a roll. But, uh, okay, two, two pieces of toast, fried eggs on top, bacon, onions, and this most amazing chipotle sauce. Disclaimer, we have actually been here already. We didn't film it and I had this and it was amazing. I'm looking forward to having it again. Steph, what are you having? Rachel and I both got some version of enchiladas. It's a couple weeks later now and we are back at uh, Martina Fondafina with our friends. Jack and Robert. Having more delicious breakfasts. The most Mexican thing you could order, a bacon sandwich. I mean, it looks gorgeous. And I got mole at long last. I'm so excited. Pete. And I got the thing that I got the first time, the second time, and now the third time. They're here, my chili killers. We also got Hayes breakfast this time, which is French toast with fresh guava on top. And cranberries. And cranberries. Every 
can get in if you want. We just went to, um, how do you say that word? P Ponderia? Uh, Ponderia. We just went to Ponderia Rosetta, which is a very famous bakery. It's on Somebody Feed Phil and in almost every list. And there's always a line outdoor, or I'd heard there was always a line outside and there was we waited i don't know 10 minutes so it wasn't bad because we did to go because there's a lovely plaza plaza uh rio de janeiro and we're now going to taste them all i also got the hot chocolate and it is delicious we have another hot chocolate Hayes has already gotten started on the pana chocolate mm -hmm. okay this is ricotta chocolate this is the famous guava a chocolate croissant, a corn muffin, and a fig donut. Okay, this is the most famous one, I think. It's like the guava cheese danish, and we've had them from a number of places. We've had some good ones. I don't know, we had a terrible one. But I'm expecting that this one will be very delicious. I didn't get to the guava yet. It is very delicious. The quality of the pastry is significantly better than all the one we've had. The guava tastes really fresh. It's not that sweet on the actual pastry part, which is awesome. And then you get the guava and the cheese, and it's, it's very delicious. You can I'm try it. trying it right now. Can I say <laughs> Being very this slow. is unbelievable? Yeah, the corn muffin. Corn. This is a great little pastry, plaza pastry party. Oh Highly God. recommend. This is like moist. It's unbelievable. Wait, am I, am I allowed to try any? I'm just over here, just <laughs> being, the, being the tripod. We'll turn it off and let you try some. Mm. Really good. Mm -hmm. We also got this beautiful looking fig donut. Shout out to Chris and Sarah. Uh, if you haven't seen them, check their channel out. It's awesome. They came to Mexico City recently and had one of these, so we had to try one. I think they have donuts wherever they go. First off, really delicious squidgy donut with this like fake custard. I mean, you gotta come and try this. in Mexico for five days now and our friends Katie and Sofia and Mike are here Buenos dias. and they've taken us to well it's 8 a.m. in Mexico City and daybreakers here means stewed goat meat so we've come to one of the best barbacoa restaurants in town or at least we think it's one of the best they're only open three days a week and with real estate prices in this neighborhood you know they must be serving a pretty good product then <laughs> so good morning and uh, let's dig in Some lime drippings in my head. It's big on YouTube. <laughs> Katie, what are you eating? Uh, frijoles. What was it called? Asado? Queso asado. Con frijoles. This is peach. Peach. Oh. peach. This is a strawberry peach uh, sauce. Uh, say that one more. Uh, how do you say it again? Uh, sour soap. Sour soap? Wanna wanna? Sour soap? Watermelon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sour soap. Whatever that is. Yeah. Water bubble. Okay. Yeah. okay. Gracias. 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 And it's poke, we decided. Just a little alcoholic. Like a kombucha. Like a milky alcohol. 